Spider-Man 3 has already smashed through the $400 million mark. Wow. And as this comic book hero soars to heights unseen by any other movie in history, the man who created him talks to dailies about his ideas for the plot of Spider-Man 4. That leads our dailies news. Here's Jared Hall. Now, Mike, Stan Lee wasn't even sure this creation of his would go anywhere, but it obviously did. He's the man to thank for a movie that kicked off what's sure to be a summer movie season like none other. Stan Lee talking about Spider-Man 4 is something you'll see only on dailies. Spider-Man 3 kicked off the summer with records smashed, best first and single day totals, and best three day, both domestic and international. Did you ever imagine it would be what it is? Breaking box office records? Wouldn't you be surprised if I said to you, yeah, the day I wrote the first Spider-Man, I knew one day it would break box office well, records. No, but you know, sometimes people know when they have something, they have something. No. And you... I knew I liked it. Yeah. And I knew I wanted to publish it. And uh, you probably know the story. I sneaked it in a book after my publisher said he didn't want to use it. So it's hard for me to remember, but I must have had confidence in it in order to do that. But as far as ever expecting that it would be as big as it is, of course not. I used to be very friendly with Bob Kane, the guy who created Batman. Unfortunately, Bob is no longer with us, but in those days after the Batman movie came out, he used to say, well, Stan, you know, those characters of yours at Marvel are okay, but uh, you see what Batman did at the box office last week? And, and I'm so frustrated that he's not here now you so I can say, it. hey, how about Spidey? But I'm sure he knows about it. Stan created Spider-Man in 1962 along with Steve Ditko. Forty years later, the first Spider-Man hit theaters in May 2002, breaking records. Five years later, much the same story, and Sony is ready to keep rolling with more. In the comic book, Spidey has revealed his identity to the world, and Aunt May is in a coma after she was shot. Did this, they kill her? You know this. No, I didn't know. You haven't, you've read these. No, I don't have time to read the books. No. I swear I didn't know. Yeah, public knowledge, apparently. Wow, I nobody know. told me. I feel horrible now. Mm. I've ruined. No, I'm glad you told me. I've ruined Spider-Man. I got to send. I got to send somebody a note. Are there any particular storylines that you wrote that you would just be thrilled to see make it into the next movie? Oh, I loved. I ones? loved them all. It would seem to me that a nice logical next one would be the um, lizard, because I believe we've established the character in each one of these movies. And Stan even has his thoughts on Spidey's, well, Peter Parker's love life. Originally, we thought Gwen would be the one he'd marry, so see, it's even hard to control your own fictional characters. Yeah. Hey, Spider-Man 3 kind of left it open, I guess. You know, maybe Spider-Man 4, this will all come back around. I can't wait to see. And we can't either. Now, don't forget, Stan has plenty of other Marvel credits that have hit the big screen in recent years, including the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, Daredevil, and the Hulk, just to name a few. In the coming days on dailies, we'll have more from that interview, including a look at Stan's company, POW Entertainment. Mike, they're doing such creative stuff. One of their projects coming up uh, combines Hugh Hefner and his bunnies in a way you've never seen him before, so we'll be sure to tell you about that one. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Yeah. And he mentioned that first time that he snuck Spider-Man into a Marvel yeah. comic book, that mint gem version, which is like the perfect version of it, is now worth $76,000.